Welcome back. Now we are going to start discussion on design aspects for sheet metal bending operations and sheet metal bending dies. The first aspect is the starting blank length. That is also called the developed length. So the material before bending is flat stop. It is a flat blank or a, or a piece of strip. The question arises as to how long the flat stock is to be cut so that once the stock is bent, the finished part will meet the print requirements. The length of the neutral bending line gives the true length of the piece after it has been bent. So its length is the same after bending as before bending. So the formulas that we will see are based on the length of the neutral bending line. So all bending equations that follow are based on the length of the neutral bending line and internal dimensions. It is good practice to make a sketch and convert all external dimensions to internal dimensions. So for example, if we are given the outer radius, we have to convert it into inner radius. So because the equation that we will see are based on the inner radius. So the basic point here is that the starting blank is something flat like this. And once this blank is bent, we, we will be able to make a shape like this. Now, there is a radius that we are making on this blank and there is an angle that we have to make. So if the starting length of the blank is L, that is actually something we have to determine then this L needs to have a small portion that we call small L that once bent will be converted to this radius R. So the question is what should be this L, this small L? So that once bent, we will be able to make uh, this radius here. So that is called bend allowance. So in other words, we have to convert this radius and angle. If, of course, this is the drawing of the finished part and this is the starting point of, of the, uh, toward the manufacturing of any part. So we have to convert this radius and bend angle uh, to this length so that we have to include this length L in the length of the starting blank. So this L will directly depend upon these two factors actually, that is the band radius as well as band angle. So this length is equal to R alpha. Now this alpha is in degrees and we have to convert it into radians. So we know that there are pi radians in 180 degrees. Or in other words, we can say that one degree is equal to pi over 180 radians. Or we can say that uh, alpha degrees is equal to uh, alpha into pi over 180 radians. So we will actually convert this alpha in, in uh, in degrees into radians using this formula. So it will become uh, alpha pi over 180 into this R. Now, now, as we mentioned already that there is some compression that takes place over here at the point where the punch contacts uh, the starting blank. So there is some compression here. So we have to compensate for that as well. So we have to add some factor in this R and that is a, a, a factor of T, the thickness. So that K factor is multiplied with thickness of the starting blank and added to R or the radius. So this factor compensates for the uh, compression that takes place on the inner side of the blank. So this is the formula of to calculate this L. So we have to add this L toward the length of the blank. That is this length in this case, 
and this length, so I call it, uh, say this is called N1 here in the figure, N2, and the small L is to be added, so N1 plus N2 plus L will give us the length L that is required for the blank so that once it is bent, we will be able to uh, get the required part. So this is the equation that we have. We were calling it L, here we are calling it A. So that is the equation for the bend allowance or the length of the arc. R is the bend radius, that is the internal radius, T is the thickness of the material, L is the bend angle in degrees and K is the constant. And for 90 degree bends, this bend allowance will be equal to 1.5708 into KT plus R. And as I mentioned that this K depends upon the thickness. So if the radius that we are making is less than the thickness, K is 1 over 4. If radius is between thickness and 2 times thickness, K is 1 over 3. And if radius is greater than two times, the thickness K is one over two. It is also important to point out that the angle alpha is that angle through which the material is bent. So in the following figure that we'll see on the next slide, the angle through which the material is bent is 30 degree, not 60 degrees. So this is the bent angle. So we are given this uh, uh, drawing of the final part and we have to find the length of the starting blank to make this part. So you can see that we are having some straight lengths like this one, this is the straight length. So it will remain un unchanged before uh, bending and after bending. We have another straight length like this. And we have a third straight length, uh, this one. So I call it L1, this one L2, and this one L3. Now we have to calculate two band allowances. So one for this radius and the band angle and, and the other one for this one. So these two have to be calculated. And those will be added to L1, L2, and L3 to find the length of the starting line. So Let's uh, calculate these values. One important factor is that we are given outer radius in both cases, so we have to convert it into inner radius. So first we will calculate the straight lens. So this L1 will be equal to four, uh, sorry, 3.25. That is the total length as is indicated here, so 3.250 minus this radius will be subtracted. So this much is equal to the radius. So 3.250 minus 0.215. So that will be equal to 3.035 inches. Similarly, uh, this second length is 4.750 minus, uh, we will subtract uh, this much. So that is equal to radius. So that will be minus 0.215. So that will be equal to 4.535 inches. And the third length is directly given to be equal to four inches. Now we have to calculate the band allowance. So we have to convert the outer radius, this point uh, 215 as well as this point 156 into inner radius. So R1 will be equal to 0.215 minus uh, the thickness of the sheet that is 0.090. So that will be equal to 0.125 inches. And similarly, the second radius will be equal to 0.156 minus 0 0.090. So that will be equal to 0 0.066 inches. 
Now we will calculate the band allowance. So we call the first one for this radius to be A1. So A1 will be equal to, we have the formula that is alpha pi over 180 into kt plus r. So r is r1 here. So we call <clears throat> this angle to be alpha 1. So here you can see that the radius is r1 is equal to 0 0.125 and thickness is 0 0.090. So that is somewhere over here. So radius is greater than thickness, but smaller than two times thickness. So K will be 0.33. And the band angle is obvious. It is 90 degrees. So we will have uh, alpha to be 90 degree into pi or 180. K is one over three into thickness is 0.090. And the radius is 0.125. So that turns out to be 0.243. So 0.243 inches. And A2, where we have a bend angle of 30 degrees. And here you can see that R2 is 0 0.066. So uh, the thickness is 0 0.090, so R is smaller than thickness, so K will be 1 over 4. So we have 30 into pi over 180, K is 1 over 4, thickness is the same, 0 0.090, and radius is 0 0.066. So A2 turns out to be 0.046. So what will be the length of the starting blank? So that will be equal to some of these lengths. So L1 plus A1 plus L2 plus A2 plus L3. So L1 is 3.035 plus A1 is 0.243. L2 is 4.535. A2 is 0 0.046. And L3 is 4. So the length of the starting blank turns out to be 11.86 inches. So that is the length of the starting blank that we need to have in order to make this part. So that is, we will be having something like this. And you might have noticed that we are not discussing width here because we are assuming the width of the starting blank and the width of the part after bending to remain the same, to remain unchanged. Because this bending is uh, actually consuming, these bend radii are consuming the length of the blank and not the width of the blank. So we are assuming the width to be unchanged in this case. <clears throat>